first off, congratulations on the preseason All America. Um, what do you, what do you, you, you as sort of the center of attention on all of this, and then with everything that you know come down in terms of rankings and stuff like that, how are you able to stay grounded? What do you have to do as sort of the person who's in the middle of this to keep everybody focused on you know the job at hand? I think that we don't worry about like ranking, like the numbers. We don't worry about like the accolades we get. Like, yeah, it's a good thing to like have, but we just got to work on ourselves and getting better because at the end, if you look around the country, everybody has the same common goal, which is winning a national championship. So it's like, it's all for grabs. So we just have to just focus on ourselves and just get better and stay in the moment. You know, I know that you've done a lot over the off season to change um, and to improve on what you already do and to be um, even better of an all around player, right? Is there one little adjustment that you've made that you've seen like this significant impact from? Yeah, so the little adjustment I would say for me is just uh, just slowing down, knowing when to change pace and just reading the floor, just observing everything. And just for my teammates, um, their competitiveness and intensity every day. I think that's the little adjustment. And that's everything that we're doing is like making us better. How has it helped to have Shayna practicing with her? I know you guys are very competitive. It's been good. Uh, we push each other. Uh, it's like I play a lot of, against a lot of fast people, but like Shayna is kind of like similar to me. So, I mean, she helps me and I help her. So it's like we're both pushing each other. And we're both competitive people. So it gets chippy, but it's fun. And at the end of the day, we make each other better. What is the chemistry like with you and Shayna on the same team on the court at the same time? Have you been able to develop that yet? Is it good? Will that take a little time? Certainly you've maybe practiced against her, but what about the two of you together on the court at the same time? Yeah, we just were on the same team yesterday at practice and we like kind of compliment each other. I can like with Shayna, like having her now, I'm able to go to the two more and play off the ball. And she's able, she's the type of player, she's able to create for herself and create for others. And so we kind of have that dynamic going on right now. Like we just really getting a feel for each other, although we don't like play on the same team, but once we're placed on the same team, like we work good together. And again, what does it mean to you to be a preseason All-American? Congrats on that. Thank you. Uh, it means a lot. Like it's a humbling honor. I'm blessed to be named an All-American and it's just, I'm going to just continue to do my thing. Uh, this will go out the window probably tomorrow at practice, but, yeah, I just got to keep getting better. Do you feel like this lineup is stacked with talent? It is, yes. A lot of two-way players on the, the lineup, and I'm just excited to be, like, amongst those group, good group of women. The last couple of years, Arizona women's basketball has kind of been an under-the-radar type of team, if you will, maybe not inside your building, but, you know, outside wise, it took a while for you guys to build up the, the recognition. And now you're ranked number seven in the AP pool and you're not really sneaking up on anybody. I'm curious uh, just how much, if the message has changed in the locker room, knowing that you guys really aren't the underdogs anymore, you're, you're looked at as a real contender in college or women's hoops now. Yeah, the message hasn't changed for us. Like, we still feel like we're the underdogs and, our message every day just to keep getting better and just know that we have a target on our back like we always had. And so it's like, we just got to keep making, getting each other, like keep making each other better and just, just worry about ourselves in the moment. Do you like the fact, I mean, I know you said you, you view yourself as underdogs now, but do you like the fact that this women's team is finally getting the recognition that um, you guys have, have been, you know, the work that you've been putting in is now getting a lot of more recognition? I love it. It's about time. Uh, it just speaks testaments. Like, our value to Coach Barnes, the players she recruiting, along with the other coaches on our staff. So, I mean, they're doing a great job of building this program up, and I'm just looking forward to continue with the years to come. I want to follow up, Ari, with something that Alec just talked about uh, of the team now getting the national recognition that you guys knew uh, internally, how special it could be. Was there a moment where it all kind of started to come together and you thought everything that Adia had been talking about is going to come true, a moment where it just kind of snapped to you that this is something special that we have here? I will say sometime last year, like when I seen my team just playing together and playing for each other and just competing against the other top teams in the conference, I was like, okay, I'm starting to believe what Adia was saying, you know, when I first committed here. And it's just, 
hey, we, I, I trust her uh, and she trusts me as well. So it's like, hey, it all came true. Um, also, I had another follow-up for you. Talk about some of the newcomers um, and what they bring and, and how they've meshed into this culture uh, that, is, that is growing um, and getting better. Yeah. It's just, we're looking scary this year. It's just with the newcomers, they added the pieces that we needed over the past couple of years to like be like an Oregon or Oregon State or a Stanford. Like, so I feel like we're more complete this year, but like Trinity, she adds that experience. She adds that toughness and she's a heck of a rebounder. So, and that's something we've been lacking for the past couple of years. So she adds that. And Darren, she's a tough player, plays beyond her years, especially as a freshman. She's a lefty and she's not scared of anything. And I love that. Shayna, she brings, she's a, cause she's competitive as well. She's a tough guard and she can create for herself and herself and others. And she can also play on a defensive end. And Bindu is very athletic, very. And she does all the hustle play. She's not scared to get her hands dirty. So I love that. And Marta adds another post, give us more depth. And so I'm just really happy at how we're looking right now. One last thing for Ari. I was talking with the baseball coach yesterday. He was talking about the baseball team is very grateful that they're finally able to get back out there and play after everything they've been through, cancellation of their season, COVID being, being uh, isolated for this basketball team. How do you guys feel now that you're able to get back on the court and you have an opportunity to compete after everything you've been through in the last 10 months? Yeah, just like the baseball coach said, like, we're grateful. And it just, I don't know, the lesson we learned is not to take anything for granted. Like, we miss being out on the court with each other. It's just like every day we're going out there, we're giving our all. So we just learned we have to be grateful and just to get better and make each other better every day. You guys are kind of jumping right into Pac-12 this year because of the way the, the coaches decided to do the 22-game schedule. Um, what's that like thinking there's going to be no preparation before this tough conference? It's going to be tough. And just thinking about 22 games, like it's going to be turn around. It's going to be a grind. And I just know it's going to be a battle. So you got to bring your A game. And it's just like, like you said, with like little preparation, it's just like, I'm going to have to go off of what happened last year. I'm going to have to do extra research on players that just came in. So, I mean, just got to find more ways to be prepared and just got to execute the game plan that's given to us. The team's going to look different this year with um, all the newcomers, obviously, and with Shana on the court. What is that going to look like? I know you've only played together, you said, like yesterday, and very few times in practice so far. But, you know, for the – really, she's going to be creating for you. And you're usually the creator for yourself and for others. How do you think that's going to really – what that's going to look like and how it's going to change how you play. Yeah, with the addition of Shana and just playing with her, it's going to help me a lot and it's going to actually make my stats like more efficient. So instead of me having to play defense and create for my teammates, I'm going to have like more wins. So I mean, Shana's going to help me a lot and I'm going to also help her make her percentage go up as well. So I mean, I'm just happy to have her. Think about playing with no fans this year. I know you guys have worked so hard to get people into the building the last few years. It's going to be tough. Uh, we love our fans. They, like, motivate us, and they, like, they make it a hostile environment for our opponents to play, and it's just – it's going to be tough. But, I mean, we got to find a way to motivate ourselves and just to be loud. So we're going to have to find a way, but it's definitely going to be tough. And then I have one more question. Um, what, what would, what's the biggest difference between Trinity and Dominique? Like what, what, notice, what differences do you notice when maybe in the starting lineup this year? Both phenomenal players. But the difference is um, I would say that Trinity is more physical than Dominique. Uh, Dom was a more finesse player, um, but they both have great outside shots. But they're kind of they're similar in a way, but it's just – I'll have to say Trinity is more aggressive, but she's definitely going to be a key piece this year.